What's up, YouTube? I uh, did some changes to the uh, pump motor. Instead of using this vacuum motor, I went with a 12 volt motor, which is kind of hard to see in here. I got a 12 volt motor. It's, it came out of a three wheeler that a little child would operate a very small three-wheeler and I got it it was over by the dumpster so I grabbed that took the motors out and whatnot a couple of years ago so the problem with the motor I was running on uh, 18 volts and it was getting really hot you know with the battery so I dropped it down to five volts so all three of these lights are really running on five volts and from the from the motor the motor's running on five volts and it goes to the pump which is put now I don't even know so I don't have a multimeter anymore because they break with this system so it's hard to check voltage but anyway I also added a fan I added two switches one operates the fan one operates the motor and this is where everything is connected to a computer control box where you put the power plug in to your computer all right it goes to this box in your computer and basically what I'm hooked up to here <clears throat> is the red wire this is for the pump the red wire is 5 volts and the black is ground. You guys see that? I know you see a lot of wires, but I have to do some trimming with wires and stuff to make everything fit on my board, you know. But the fan is on a 12 volts, which is like 11.78 of a volt. Okay, and of course the ground. Um... Uh, I have them both connected to this. This wire goes to the motor. This wire goes to the fan. And it's the ground. The red is the hot. The 5 volts. That goes to the motor. And the 12 volts here. You know, goes to the fan. So. I rigged everything up to the switches. This way it's easier to do things. And I'm going to tighten up these wires to the fan so they're out of the way. And uh, I have to get them taped up right down in there. So anything, anyway, let's turn this on. This here motor, I'm not really sure. Seems like it would take a lot of juice. All right, this is a 20 volt. 20 volt motor. I don't even know where I got this thing from. I think it came out of another one of those uh, Hot Wheels things for the kids, the electric uh, rides that they ride on, you know. So, anyway, let's turn on the fan. I turned on the fan. You see that? I'm using the black switch here. The fan comes on. Now I'll go to the red switch. The pump will turn on. And you get the lights running. I still have to do a few adjustings on these boards. Maybe uh, loosen it up so it's not hitting the motor so much. I'll get a little extra power out of it. It seems to pick up in power. Right here is a 3 watt, which is really kind of bright. It runs on like a half a volt. These lights are awesome. You got your 9 watt. 
I'm looking for a 2.5 watts instead of 9 watts. Get all three going here. This one's a little bit loose. It's hard for me to take out. I gotta bolt screw it down into the board instead of the foam so I could take it out. But the motor does rev up quite a bit without any lights going. You see? So it's really doing, uh, so far, a good job. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. Leave the fan on for a little bit. So basically what I'm going to do tonight, YouTube, is I'm going to run myself a set of wires from the ground and the hot wire, the positive. And... I'm going to run them over here and connect them to these two wires. The hot will be green, the ground will be black, and I'm going to hook that up to a lamp inside and I'm going to run it, run my lamp inside. It has its own little switch uh, tonight for lighting. And so I'm going to test this system out and see how long it'll, it'll run without heating up. Of course, this fan really works <coughs> really good. And I have it kind of boxed in, so it definitely hits the motor. See that? I did a cut here. And I could cut this off, too, you know, and just leave a, uh, a part here to screw that in. But for what? I'm also going to uh, close this. See that? I'm going to close this and put a screw on the top. And I might even put something over here so it's just blowing on the motor, you know. Keep that cool. Because it's important, you know, to keep your motor cool and running efficiently. And this way you can run them for a longer period of time. So I'll go ahead, I'll turn everything on one more time. Fan. Motor. Lights, and we got action going on here, live action. Well, of course, I don't need, I don't need all these lights going on. And you can see this one didn't really brighten up anymore. <clears throat> kind of balances out the motor. <laughs> from being super loud, you know. So that's where I'm at. I got my, uh... Now, the, all these bulbs are a waste of energy. No, these are okay. But the LEDs are the most efficient. <laughs> so you'll be able to run more lights using the LEDs than you would incandescent bulbs or the uh, fluorescent. For what I'm running right here with this motor at 5 volts, LEDs win the race all the way. They, they won the race, okay? So that's what I'm using. And like I said, I would like to drop these two down to 5 watts instead of uh, 9 watts. All right, because you get even more illumination, and uh, the system's running a little bit cooler, you know. But anyway, I'm gonna run this tonight, and thanks for watching, guys. I'll definitely be doing an update tonight. I'm gonna start it, and I'm gonna go inside, and you're gonna see the light come on. 
Okay, I'm going to hook it up to the plug. <coughs> Excuse me. The plug of the light, of the lamp. So you know that that lamp is not plugged in the wall, but you know the system. You know how it works, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll get back to you tonight. Okay. So right here I have a, a dimmer switch. And that's hooked to... Uh, 120 volt. I thought this was 20 volts. It's a 120 volt motor. Let me say that's turning. <clears throat> that's turned down there. Let me get this connected here. It's a little dangerous, guys. This might be a good motor for this. No, I'm not sure. It seems like it's really going fast, though. A little more control on that motor. This would be a pretty good motor. And I don't know where I got it. You know, just the dimmer switch is low to high, low, high. You know, I definitely have to would have to run a few motors on that, but. I mean, a few light bulbs to keep that motor down. Maybe even uh, one of these, you know, <laughs> or two of these to keep that motor tame to lower the uh, the speed. But I really don't want to get into the 120 volts to uh, run this pump because I just think it's uh, inefficient, you know. And I'm trying to get away from the 120 volts, so I don't want to depend on this to run uh, some lights, you know. And else I can get this down to like 10 volts, you know, but I can't. So, I'll put this definitely back in the bin for future activities. And, uh... I'm getting ready to do my update on this once we get some night time. I'm getting ready to hook up the wires. I did get my wires taped under here also. I got some tape on those two wires. I got tape here. And I'm going to try to get a connection somewhere in this area. Or actually run these two wires through the back. And bring this here control box to the back so that said five it's running on five volts so imagine if you had a six volt battery and you'd be able to run this whole setup and take it on the go and to get it to recharge, you're going to have to have a diode, I believe. I'm not sure. That would bring 
Well, six volts, so you need about what nine volts to charge that six volt battery, something like that. So you would need a maybe even a resistor. So I don't know. I gotta figure that out. Thanks for watching.